are you doing, folks? How are things for you out there tonight? Uh, uh, should I greet you by saying, uh, Good evening, Altringham. As you notice, Chris not with me tonight. He's uh, away on holiday. Him and Joe are taking a little bit of a break for a couple of weeks. A well-deserved break, I think, as well. So, if you're watching Chris, I'll be able to tell you in a minute when I catch up with the comments here, as usual. So, yeah, Chris, hope you're having a good time. Uh, you'll be seeing a little bit of Chris, uh, some live videos popping up, no doubt, of Chris over the next couple of weeks while he's on his little jaunt down there in Cornwall. Or is it up there? It's down there, Cornwall, isn't it? Let me turn this down again. Always, always catches me out. Hi, Katrina, how are you doing? Thanks for being there. So, single handed tonight, as I say, Chris and Joe away gallivanting for another couple of weeks. Uh, you will be hearing off Chris. So, perhaps a little shorter tonight than otherwise would normally be for a Sunday. Um, I have a few bits and pieces for you that I'd like to run through that's been going on in Altrincham. You can, of course, take part, you can join in with the comments here on the video. Uh, or, please do that, or you could also give us a call tonight again if you wanted. The number there is 07874-055611. It'd be great to hear of you if you have anything to say about what I'm going to say here tonight or anything else bothering you, anything else on your mind about Altrincham or stuff to like, then please let us know about it. Hi Marie, thanks for being there as well. Okay, so what's been going on in Altrincham? Um, on our page this week, uh, we've got a bit of a competition going to see, you can win yourselves two tickets to see Warhorse at the Liverpool Empire. That's coming up in a few weeks' time. To enter the competition, all you need to do is like and share the page, tag a couple of friends that you'd like to take with you down to Liverpool, maybe a girls' night out, or a night out, whatever you fancy, then... The entries close on the 1st of November at 6.30. It doesn't cost you anything other than uh, a couple of clicks to, to enter the competition and we'll be doing a live draw for the winners, uh, I think on the Wednesday show uh, in a few weeks' time. So you'll, you'll find that post to the competition. Warhorse at the Liverpool, where's that? At the Liverpool Empire. Uh, back yourselves two free tickets for that if you and the plus one fancy uh, a night out down there. We're still a little bit loud. Oh, hi, Chris. Hello, Cornwall. Woohoo. Yeah, are you having a good time, Chris? Maybe you give us a quick call. Tell us how things are going on down there. So, what else has been happening this week in Altrincham? Well, I've been taking a look back through the page before we came live tonight. Um, something that was popular this week was Christmas Santa letters. There's a post on the page a couple of days ago if you'd like to get your wish list out there to Greenland, to Santa or Reindeerland, as it says in the address here. If you'd like to get that letter out over the next few weeks to make sure you're on Santa's good list, then we've got an address that you can send that to. The address is Santa's Grotto, Reindeerland, XM45HQ. That's Santa's Grotto, Reindeerland, XM45HQ. And your letters have to reach Santa before Friday the 6th of December. If you'd like to hear back off the, off the man himself. Hi Chris, thanks for being there buddy. How are you doing? Chris Atkinson, always there on the, on the comments on these live streams. Thanks for your support on, on that Chris. So, also on the page this week, we've tried to cover a little bit of what Altrincham Football Club, the Robins, have been up to. We know that quite a few people out there on the page are big followers of the Robins. Personally, myself, and I know if all, uh, the majority, if not all, the members of the team are particularly football fans. So, would you like to join in and be our kind of football correspondent for the Ultringham News page? We'd be interested to hear of you if you'd like to have a go at that, so please don't hesitate to get in touch. Ultringham doing really well lately by all accounts, like I say, I'm by no means a football fan. 
But I've been reading Elfing and basically they've pulled the socks up a bit lately and they're doing pretty well. Held themselves to a nil-nil draw with Macclesfield Town over the weekend. Uh, find them on Twitter, Facebook to see what they're up to. We'll try and keep up to date on what the Robins are up to and bring you a little bit more of that on the page over the coming weeks and months. So, can I remind you guys, please take part in the comments or if you'd like to give us a call tonight, maybe a rather shorter Sunday live than usual with being on my own. The number if you'd like to call is 07 874 So, Returning to what's been going on on the Offering News page this week, uh, you, you're probably aware that we're, we're very cosy with our Altrincham and Altrincham in Bloom. Um, Altrincham News actually sits on the committee of Altrincham in Bloom. They're responsible for all the floral things you see around Altrincham. I always tell people, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I always tell people that stand anywhere in Altrincham. Uh, just look around and you'll see something that Altrincham in Bloom is responsible for making your town uh, a nicer place to live. So in support of them, our Altrincham and Altrincham in Bloom, uh, our Altrincham have been organising litter picks throughout the year. Uh, so far they've collected over 2,000 bags of rubbish from around the town centre. Uh, these people are all volunteers, they give up the time for nothing, again to help, to help make your town a nicer place to live. They're holding their final litter pick of 2017 on the 19th of November. If you'd like to take part with that, do your bit for Altrincham. It's Saturday the 19th of November between 1 and 3pm, however to take part you must pre-register if you want to join the teams that will be out there doing their bit for the town. To register, you you have to contact Sarah. Uh, her email address is sarahw at rolltringham.org. So, if you're free Saturday 19th of November, between 1 and 3 o'clock, then I'm sure Sarah and the rest of the team over there at rolltringham, stroke, altringham and bloom, would be more than pleased uh, to be receiving your support. Now, our Altrincham also have uh, another thing coming up over the next few weeks. I believe this is the day before, on the 18th of November. Um, Artage Road in Altrincham, it's the road that leads up to Sainsbury's car park. It's always been a little bit... <coughs> A little bit not quite right down there, so the guys are going to get their hands dirty and get stuck in there having the day sorting that out. We'll put details to that on the page uh, probably tomorrow or the day after if you'd like to get involved with that. Uh, I have no more details to that at the moment, but just to recap on that litter pick, if you'd like to take part and help out our altering again, that's on Saturday the 19th of November between 1 and 3 p.m. And you can register by contacting Sarah on sarahw at rltringham.org. Okie dokie. So, guys, 07 If you'd like to comment on anything I'm talking about tonight, or if you'd just like to comment in general, Please get involved in the comments on this video as well. So, what else is happening? Well, Christmas is coming, isn't it? The Altrincham Christmas lights switch on. Uh, they will take place, he says, frantically looking at his notes. Uh, they take place in the Stamford Course. So I, I know what it is. Um, it, it's come to me. It's the 18th of November, the Christmas lights switch on. Altrincham News will be live streaming from the event, so if you see us there at the Christmas light switch on, then pop over. We'd be more than glad to say hello to you. Chris will be... Chris has registered as an Altrincham host. You might have seen these guys knocking around the Goose Green Festival in the pink high-vis jackets. Chris, a pillar of the Altrincham Society, He'll be hosting on that evening, so you'll see Chris around in the crowd as well. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have him with us on the Altrincham News team at some point on the night, but if you see us there on the Christmas light switch on, on the 18th of November, 
then please pop over and say hello. Uh, a week or so after that, on the 2nd of December, there's also a parade taking place in Altrincham. Uh, we'll give you more details on that uh, as the time approaches. Uh, I've just returned to Altrincham in Bloom and our Altrincham for a minute. Uh, recently, our Altrincham was uh, Altrincham in Bloom was judged by the regional judges, regional and national judges for the North Western Bloom competition. Altrincham in Bloom are the proud owners of it, it's three consecutive gold awards that Altrincham in Bloom have had for the work that they've done in the town centre. Next Friday, representatives from Altrincham and Bloom will be up in Landudno, where we'll be finding out whether Altrincham has won gold in the national awards of Britain in Bloom. It's the first time that Trafford has been, anywhere in Trafford, has been nominated for one of these awards, and we're quite I won't give anything a bit, but we're, we're quite confident that we're going to do good. So, fingers crossed there from Altrincham, we'll bring you the results on that. That's next Friday the 27th. Something that Chris and myself, we've been on the committee, are really, really keen on. We're very proud of the work that Altrincham and Bloom do, and very proud to be involved with them. Um, so, guys, again, let me remind you, please take part in the comments. Or give us a call 07874-055611. So, where shall I take you now? I think I'll... Uh, we're here at A4 Galleries in Altrincham, so let me tell you a little bit about something that's going on here. Air Gallery here at A4 Studios, they've just had a, an exhibition called Walk the Line, which was by Trafford College art and design students. Some fantastic work still hanging up there in the, in the gallery. Some of those picture, pictures that sound like something from the primary school, but no, I'm sorry guys. But some of your work out there, some of your creativity out there really actually spoke to me. I, I'm, I'm not claiming to be any sort of art critic here, but yeah, I, I understand where you're going with them things. Walk the Line exhibit is due to close but there will be another exhibition with a preview night on the 2nd of November and that exhibition will be Curiosities and I'm curious about this one because let me read you a little bit that I found about the exhibition itself. Uh, it reads Curiosities is an exhibition of extraordinary artwork that celebrates the curious and unusual modern modern day art, thank you pardon, I can't even read my own writing, should have been a doctor's. Uh, work from 12 prominent artists from across the UK and it aims to entice and excite while toying with the borders between museum and gallery display. As I said, some of the work that's already out there from these Trafford College students, it really is some pretty good stuff. Um, I know there's only a few days left to run on that, if at all, so if you've not got down there, there's still a chance, you'll be able to find Air Gallery and A4 Studios for that matter on Facebook, Twitter, give them a search and more details there. We have a post scheduled uh, after this live uh, with the details of this A4 exhibition coming up, Curiosities. So, if you're interested, just hand fire, we have a post scheduled on the page and you'll be seeing that uh, appear within the hour. Okie dokie, so I'm rattling through these pretty good, aren't I, tonight? I can say all on my own and Chris and Joe, if you just joined us, Chris and Joe away in Cornwall for a couple of weeks. Um, also, uh, I, I was going to have our new team member Katie with us tonight, but unfortunately Katie couldn't make it. Probably Wednesday. I'll probably share this over with Katie on Wednesday. That would be good. And uh, I have some of the stories that Katie herself was going to tell you as well. So if I rattle through a few of those, 
And then you'll know where we're up to, he says. Frantically looking through his notes. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not one. Oh, come on, you professional. Okay. Right, so Katie has gathered together a few bits and pieces for us, uh, a kind of altering of news recommends thing, I suppose, of Halloween and bonfire events. Um, at the Moss Trooper, there's going to be a, a children's Halloween event which starts at 4.30. I don't actually have a date for this here, um, assuming it will be Halloween. Uh, that starts at 4.30 with pumpkin carving, a children's buffet, Children's buffet, um, prize for the best fancy dress. So that's at the Moss Trooper in Simply. I've been to a couple of events there myself in the past. Um, they, they really do well, um, know how to do things there. So that's going on at the Moss Trooper. Presumably that's Halloween. Forgive me if you got the date wrong. But we will put details on the page about that as well. Uh, yeah, so that one is Halloween. Talking to competitioners again, let me remind you, tickets for Warhorse, two up for grabs, for freebies, on the page, there's a post down there, I love doing that, there's a post down there, uh, take a look, get yourselves involved in the competition. Also, at the Bowdoin Hockey and Squash Club, they're having an annual fireworks and bonfire night. Uh, this is also quite a, a, a big event, a uh, big annual event. Tickets are available online at the moment. Uh, you can get them online or you can pay on the gate. But be aware that if you leave it to pay on the gate, you're going to be paying a premium on the night. Always, always, as ever, look after your pets on fireworks night. I'm not sure if altering the news are going to be involved in anything this bonfire night. Personally, I'd like to be. We were up at Widdenshaw Park last year, just after a bit of a downpour um, through the day. I, I was up to my knees in mud. Um, then we had technology issues. Um, by the time we managed to get a live stream out to you guys, <laughs> it was all over. So that was a bit of a damp squid last year. Have you got a bonfire event that you'd like us to attend? Please get in touch, let us know, with a week or so. So let us know, we, we, maybe we can come down and have a chat to you and see what's going on. So one more time guys, like I said right at the top here, being on my own tonight, this is likely to be a short Sunday live, I'll run through a little bit of news that's been going on on the page. Some big news that I'm quite possibly sitting on, but I cannot say anything about that, so I'm sure that will come to light over the next few days. If you'd like to get involved with us here on Altrincham News, or that's Altrincham, then please get in touch with us via our Facebook, Twitter. Did you spot my deliberate mistake a couple of weeks ago when I was sat in this corner? I'm so used to pointing out Facebook and Twitter that I'd forgotten they were both in the corner behind my head and I was pointing all over the place like an amateur. But these things are sent to try us, aren't they? So, what I was going to say about Halloween night, being a, a dad of uh, Mother and Boys, parent tax, what's the going rate for parent tax on these sweets they bring in? I, I so used to look forward to bonfire night, especially when they're at Halloween, especially when they're at the age when they can go out on their own with the mates and when they come back with a great big bad when you just want a bit of that these days, don't they? But the smaller one and a big bag of sweets, um, once they're in bed, it's like, oh, I love that. I love that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Parent tax, it's a legitimate tax for all the work that you put in. Well, that's my excuse anyway. So, guys, a couple of things that I'm going to recap on then before I leave you tonight. Uh, if you've been behaving yourself, and um, you're on Santa's good list, then get a letter out there to him. Santa's Grotto, Reindeer Land, XM4, 5HQ. Make sure your letters get there by Friday 6th of December. Our Altrincham Litter Pick, Saturday 19th of November, 1 till 3 o'clock, if you'd like to get yourselves involved. It's the last one of the year, so let's see what we can do with this. 
Over 2,000 bags of rubbish were collected from around Altrincham Centre so far. That's fantastic going. You need to contact Sarah W at raltringham.org to register to be able to take place in on that. Christmas lights on the 18th of December. Altrincham News will be streaming from there. So if you'd like to pop over, say hello. Air Gallery, you will see a post on our page which is scheduled within the hour about the upcoming exhibition. It'd be nice to see you here. Pop down the corridor and say hello to us here at Altrincham News. We're just down that way a bit when you come in. So, I think that is about it. I apologise for being a bit brief tonight, guys. I've covered everything that I needed to. You will be hearing of Chris and Joe. The promise is alive from down there in Cornwall over the next few days. I know Chris's uh, mobile signal down there isn't too good, so it kind of depends whether he can get himself a decent Wi-Fi signal or not. But I guess it would be good to see how you guys are getting on down there. I hope you're having a good time. So, other than Chris's live, next live from the studio will be with myself and hopefully with Kate on Wednesday at 8.30. Maybe another little bit of different uh, angle to what we normally do on a Wednesday. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens with that one. And other than that, back here Sunday, hopefully not on my own again. Um, we will be getting back to normal when Chris and Joe come back. So, for now guys, thank you very much for being there. Please like and share the posts on the page. Please like and share this video. You're doing us proud out there. Thank you so much for your support. And um, I'll catch up with you guys again sometime soon. See you later, Altrincham.